Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Star Wars Black 6-inch series Biker Scout and Speeder Bike. The Biker Scout is my favorite variant of the Stormtrooper armor. I don't know why. I think it's the helmet, but I don't know. It's, it's a cool armor, I think, so I'm happy to have the figure, and I'm going to try to be still honest and fair about the review. Um, it's still pretty good. It's a good figure. Here's something. I'm just going to point this out right off the top. He came with this gun in this holster on his calf. Okay, this gun, I don't think it's a 6 inch scale gun. And I know it's not just an error because I have the other, another speeder bike and it came with the same thing. So I'm wondering, is he supposed to have a super tiny gun that's nowhere near the right size for him to hold? I mean, in the movies, I don't think that was a thing. Uh, it looks to me like they just gave him a three and three quarter inch weapon. Is is that what happened? Did, can anybody confirm or provide a counterpoint to that? It looks to me like that's what happened. So that's a little bit weird. And on the same token, it fits in there, but it doesn't snap in at all, and it'll just pop right out if you bump it. So be be careful of that. You're probably going to end up losing that if you actually play with your figures, make them pew pew and stuff like that. Before we look at the bike, let's look at the figure. He stands, and his legs are a little bit warped from coming on the bike in the package, but he stands just about six and a quarter inches tall, so pretty much standard size. Helmet, they all seem to have a little warp spot on there, a little hot water or hair dryer should fix that. There's a lot of detail in that front piece of the helmet where the mouth would be they did a really good job with that. They did a pretty decent job with the rest of the details. It's not great, but it looks pretty good. I'm not going to complain too much about that. They did a little bit of shading here. I guess it's shading. I guess it's supposed to actually be dirtiness because his feet are dirty too. But the way they did that, it's not great. He's got a, it looks like he was wearing like calf warmers or something, and then his boots got dirty underneath. So I'm going to have to use some paint thinner and kind of clean that up to make it look better. But it looks good on the knee pads, and it looks good on this side for the most part, so it's not a big deal. There's no shading on the black anywhere. That would have been nice, but again, it's not a big deal. It looks like there's a little bit of gray on the torso. These pads are gray, or pouches are gray. A little bit of detail work going on in the back here. Looks pretty decent. No real complaints. Elbow pads don't have good paint jobs again. It looks like they were painted with that crappy white that they used on the Stormtrooper, the standard Stormtrooper. And then it has that dirty color going on, and it just, I don't know, it doesn't look great. It'll do, but it doesn't look great. And then this part was painted black to match his butt, but it's molded on white, and that's pretty sloppily done. I mean, I can easily touch it up, but I shouldn't have to, so I have to point it out. And then the torso just has more gray going on there. Uh, as far as the articulation goes, the head is built like that, and they did a really good job with burying that ball peg up inside the head. So you can't see in there at all, but the articulation still works perfectly. So thank you Hasbro for getting that worked out. Shoulders, still going to be an issue. You can't get much range of motion out of them due to the shoulder pads. <coughs> Excuse me. But we still get our swivel. It's probably going to pop off the shoulder pad if you're not careful though. Bicep swivel, that's very nice. Hopefully you can see that in there. Uh, double jointed elbow, we get all of our range of motion that we could possibly want. Then we have a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. He's got the vertical hinge on that side and on that side. That's probably to help him hold his handlebars like that. Obviously not quite like that, but you get the idea. Torso articulation, that's all happening right up here. It does lean back a little bit. Can't lean any farther forward due to these pouches. But we do have a little bit of forward and back. Virtually no side to side and not a whole lot of waist swivel either and that's the, that's the only joint there is uh, I guess it's not a real big deal because more than likely he's going to be on the bike anyway so that's okay but it is something to note hips are standard hips now but because of this extra piece that's on here you're not going to get as much range of motion you're going to have to bring them out to the side a little bit so that's as far forward and back as they're going to go out to the side that's about as far as they're going to go you're going to kind of have to finagle it and force this up to get the legs up where you want them. We do have a thigh swivel up here. Double jointed knees, no problem posing those at all. We have a boot swivel, which actually happens about 
in here, not quite at the cut joint, so that's okay. Then we have basically the standard ankle articulation, which has a really good range of motion all the way around, and we have the ankle rocker, and we have the really nicely sculpted boot bottoms with peg holes for putting the guy on the speeder bike. But before we put him on, let's look at the speeder bike itself. It looks really good for the most part. This is a good example of how we can get some six inch vehicles from maybe some other lines or close to six inch maybe from McFarland for the Halo line. That would be awesome. That would be my dream, but I don't think it's gonna happen. We have shading throughout all of the brown that looks really good. Then we have these wear spots with this silver that they don't look very good. They look like dabs of silver paint. So that's unfortunate, but the shading throughout, this airbrush style shading looks really, really good. There's lots of detail work here, detail work on this console area. The metal parts all have dry brushing on them. So there's a lot of detail going on, and this thing looks really good. Let's see how long it is. It is about ten and a half inches long, and you don't care how wide it is. So it's pretty good. He can fit on it nicely. I'll show you that in a second. And the base it comes with... It's a pretty nifty design. It's a little ugly, but it's nifty. And that is because this ball ball socket there, you can put it on this one and you can just push it in. You can stand it up like that and you can pose it around however you want to, lean it from side to side if you want to. No problem at all, that's pretty cool. But if you don't want it to be quite that high, you can pull it out and use this one to make it a medium height. So I put that on there, set it down and you can pose it around however you want. But if that's still too high, you can pull that out and put it in this one. And that gives you the lowest height, and then you can set it down and pose it all the way around. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, it's a little goofy looking, but it is definitely practical. Um, so I, I think that's a nice design. I'm glad that they thought that through and gave us some options. I would probably just leave it at the highest one because it creates the smallest profile for the display stand. But let's go ahead and put the guy on it, let's put his feet in first. I guess we're going to peg him in at the toe and then drop him right off. Peg him in. We're going to see how easy this is because all I did was take him out of the package and took him off the bike to show you guys. So we're going to see if we can get him on the bike fairly reasonably without too much effort. Bring the legs up, I guess, bend those knees. Sounds like an aerobics class. Um, well, it looks like he's pretty well on it, actually. Doesn't look too bad so far. Let's get those hands on those handlebars. Looks like he's going to be in the pose I had him in for the most part. Put him on there. I know it's not going to be perfect, but it needs to look reasonably good. And I think it does. Right now his butt's not all the way down. You can play with it, obviously, to get it to where you want it. But I just threw him in that pose and put him on there fairly quickly, and I didn't have too much trouble at all. So that tells me that we are in good shape, and I think we have a nice figure on our hands. So I'm going to definitely recommend that. I'm very pleased with it. The only thing that's weird is this gun. So if anybody can enlighten me on that, please do. Otherwise, I think they just, I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking. I'm not even going to venture a guess. So there it is, guys. There's the Star Wars Black Series speeder bike with Biker Scout. Very nice figure set. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.